there's never been a bigger Honda Accord than the 2010 Accord Cross Tour. It's a five-door hatchback, but it also has the raised ground clearance of a crossover. Four-wheel drive is optional. It is a weird-looking vehicle, but if you're an empty nester with a giant schnauzer, Honda thinks you might like it. Honda didn't try to squeeze a third row of seats into the Accord Cross Tour, so there's plenty of space for five plus a large hatch area. The cargo floor is reversible, and we like the quick-release levers for the fold-flat seats. The two-piece cargo cover is well-designed, and the hatch itself is easy to lift. But there's a downside to the Cross Tour's hatchback shape, and that would be reduced cargo capacity. Even with the seats down, the Cross Tour offers only 51 cubic feet. By comparison, the Toyota Venza and Honda's own CRV have 70 cubic feet. As Accords go, however, the Cross Tour is at least well outfitted. Our EXL test car has higher quality leather than Accord sedans and comes with a lot of features. A sunroof is standard, dual zone climate control is standard, the audio system has both a USB jack and a subwoofer, and the optional navigation system now includes a backup camera. Probably the best thing about the Cross Tour is its quiet ride. Honda has finally found a way to control road noise. Suspension tuning is also more compliant than on the Accord sedan. Around corners, the Cross Tour handles like a plus-size Accord. Steering is slower, but still very precise. At the inside line test track, the Cross Tour went through the slalom at 64.4 miles per hour. This is quick for a crossover. As expected, though, it understeers early on the skid pad. Although Accords usually emphasize fuel economy, the Cross Tour only comes with Honda's 3.5 liter V6. This engine makes 271 horsepower, but it's still pretty efficient in our front wheel drive test vehicle. Acceleration is fine in most situations, but the V6 doesn't have much torque response at low RPM. Also, the 5 speed automatic could really use a manual shift mode. At the test track, our Cross Tour EXL hits 60 miles per hour in 7.5 seconds, which is a half second slower than the V6 Toyota Venza. Braking is the weakest link in this package, just as it is in most current generation Hondas. The Cross Tour's initial 60 to 0 stop takes 131 feet, but fade sets in immediately after that. The Cross Tour wants to be a kind of tall wagon combining the maneuverability of a sedan with the cargo capacity of a crossover. Problem is, the Cross Tour's hatchback roofline makes it less useful than more conventional crossovers like the Venza and Nissan Murano. We think Honda might be better off building a conventional wagon instead.